Welcome back, lords and ladies. King Rebra right here, and I'm your host for this evening. This is going to be weeks 11 to uh, 20, I believe it is. So let's get started. I'm still not finished with swords, so let's get the swords done. 31, 39, 43, nice, and all the way to 50. Yes, baby! Yes! So... I may not increase it till the others are 25 or higher, but that's fine. There are reports that the a key thong, is he a key wearing a thong or something, <laughs> has been sighted leaving in the old forest. Lore failed, history failed. What's a key thong? A beast with the body of an enormous golden cat, a sharp beak, and spikes on its back. I, I just don't want to imagine that. Eek! <laughs> Several disappearances in the southern calories has, uh, are already thought to be the work of this creature. What do we do? Should we send hunters? The traditional policy on stray beasts is to hope that they return to the forest and stay there. Hunters are no match for such creatures. You would only make it angry and waste more lives. So we just let it eat people. Everyone dies in the end. What a gloomy guy Jocelyn is. Really, what a gloomy guy. So plus one depression. I'd be depressed too. Also, there's a letter for you. Tellerus, the Duke said that will be arriving next week for an official visit. Perfect. I'd like to talk to that guy. Let's attend service. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking that we are ready for magic. Let's uh, do some sense magic. Yeah, I'd like to sense some magic. All right, so that will allow me to sense magical work at hand. So that's going to be good, hopefully. Um, so, oh, because I'm willful, I'm going to get a nice bonus to it. So I'm already at 30. Perfect. This is a really quick learning spree. Ah, Tellerist, Duke of Sedna. Ah, your highness, what a pleasure it is to meet you in person at last. Your description did you no justice. I giggled because I felt that flattery. I don't know how to deal with handsome older men paying me compliments. I was also pleased to hear that you've accepted my humble offering. A jewel for a jewel. But you are the most precious. Wow, he's such a charmer, isn't he? He's really got the charm mobile going. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> okay, I hope that is the only uh, that this is the only only the beginning of a mutually beneficial relationship. A union between us will bring stability to both our people. He really does want to marry me. <laughs> okay, let's accept his offer. I'd be honored. All right, Elodie, your grace. Are you not aware my daughter has only 14 summers? It's my decision. A betrothed only, of course. There is no need for hurry. You have your coronation to plan for, after all. If I may have be service in any way, please send for me. I will be happy to offer my protection or advice. I don't think Daddy is very happy with my choice, but... Oh, well, that's a tin service. I'm such a um, religious little girl. All right, so let's uh, resist magic. We want to be able to protect ourselves from magical users. And because we're willful, we're going to get a nice bonus of 33. Not bad. Not bad at all. You are requested to stand in judgment. A woman has been convicted of attempt murder and requested the mercy of the crown. Your Highness, this slattern, uh, slattern dares to beg pardon when she admits that she tried to, to poison my sister under her own roof. Which sister? Corisande, the Duchess of Mead. Is she all right? She is unharmed. We caught the culprit in the kitchen before anyone could eat her foul spew. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? It's justice it is! The devils killed me brother and broke me man's heart! Lied to her they did when she went to see why he'd not come back. She said he'd gone for a soldier when he never would. He wants the only one neither. 
I waited ten years for my chance to get my own back. That's justice. You see, she's completely unrepentant. Hang her and be done with it. Internal affairs failed. I don't know what to think about all this. Either way, murder is a serious crime. But, well, I think she deserves to die. Let's kill her. As she is clearly guilty, her life is forfeit. She will be hanged in, it should be hung, in public as a deterrent to other criminals. You will not have me. All of a sudden, she breaks loose from the gods and rushes towards you. In your court dress, you are unarmed. You grope for a weapon and find only a heavy golden ornament that you hurl in her direction. Your missile flies wide of its mark. Before you had the chance to do anything else, your personal guards step into action, cutting the woman down before she can endanger you. Her lifeless body lies bleeding on your carpet. Get that out of here. Put it on display so that everyone sees what happens to criminals. Well, I'm getting kind of mean, ain't I? <laughs> um, I think I need Jesus. Let's go get some Jesus in my uh, juice. <laughs> Jesus soup in my juice. <laughs> All right, um, 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 let's, 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 let's wield some magic. Let's figure out how to wield some magic. Abracadabra. Oh, a 36, not bad. And I unlocked my magical girl outfit. Woohoo! Okay, as you walk one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying of overhead. A single dry leaf flutters in its talon. That's funny. I thought elves were nocturnal. I guess I was wrong. When you return to the castle, your father is waiting for you. There's a woman here to see you. She wishes crown funding for a project. <laughs> Thank you for seeing me, your royal highness. I, I come to you on behalf of the people. I wish to build a hospital where any citizen afflicted with disease can be brought for treatment. Um, both of them fell, putting sickness together. What did that make them die even faster? We are not interested. All right. My voice is starting to get pretty uh, hard on me. Um, let's uh, visit the treasury. All right. 9,997 gold lassie and 24 silver lassie. Ooh, that sounds like a lot. I'm not sure if that really is a lot. Let's take a look at our new magical girl. Oh, wow, she is bearing that skin. Um, right. I don't think Daddy would like to see me in this yet, so let's go back to Tuxedo for a little bit, shall we? Wink, wink. <laughs> All right, um, um... Um, since, let's sense magic again, because we want to max out all our magic. I remember that much. So that's 50, and that's 71. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Remember, the Festival of the Good Lady is approaching. There will be public celebrations for commoners, followed by a grand gala for nobility. A grand ball? There will be dancing? As queen, you'll be expected to lead the procession and take part in the ceremonial planting, possibly give a speech. However, since you're not yet crowned, it is not required, and it may not be safe to expose you to uh, public. What do you mean, not safe? Outside the castle, you're less well protected. If anyone means to harm you, think on it now. Decide later. Well, the Duke of Sinna... Uh, attend the will the duke of senna attend the gala it is traditional uh, novin event inviting your fiance may be sent as a statement uh let's not invite him um i'm thinking we don't invite him maybe some other time there's a letter for you as well it's from Brioni. I went to school with her, but she's a couple years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Meat. She's complaining that her mother still won't let her uh, come home for the holidays. Apparently, her uncle Kevin has start, uh, been acting strangely, 
strangely lately and shouting at the shadows. He's going mad! He's going star craving mad! <laughs> Alright, she's bored and looking for adventure. Well, I don't have anything to suggest for her. Crumples up the paper, throw it away. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm thinking we're going to attend service again. Woo! Wee, baby! We are going to classes and let's resist some magic. All right, um, it's 78. That's doing good. Doing very good. Okay, today's proceed, uh, procession of planting of festival of the good lady. Will you be leading the parade? If you have any concerns of safety, please stay here. Your people will recover from disappointment. If we lose you, there will be no covering. I can tell you right now that I will die if I do not, um, if I do go because I do not have the proper training. Uh, in some aspects. No, I guess I'd rather stay here because I've been focusing on being, um, it, 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 I'm trying to advert danger and until the end because uh, the end is uh, no matter what I have to. You watch the precision from the tower window, feeling safe but lonely. Suddenly you hear someone moving around inside your room. You turn in surprise, but it's only a maid. Is she a thief? Is she a, is she a assassin? <laughs> My lady, what are you doing? You should not, should you not be in the procession? Skipping a major festival is everyone wonder, wondering about me. I'll confess my feelings. Plus one afraid. I can't go outside. There may be assassins. Oh, she just says, oh, really? Do you really love me? I'm supposed to be your queen. Oh, well, your queen to be. Okay, let's attend service. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Um, let's wield magic. Mwahaha. Okay, it's up to 87. Not bad, not bad at all. Are you ready for the grand ball? All the nobles in the domain are here to see you. To see their queen. I'm not queen yet, daddy. <laughs> Gulp. You finished dressing. <coughs> My voice is going out. You finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. All around, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. Oh wow, I really felt a lot of things. Seeing yourself uh, reflected in so many eyes made you want to run away and hide. Sheesh. After a moment, you force yourself to carry on, but you're sure you've uh, all seen you hesitate. Your father awaits uh, for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. The first dance is for us. He guides you gently around the uh, dance floor, gush never rushing you. It's a fun to dance with your father, but the look in his eyes is so sad. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. The Duke of Kigal alone has brought three eligible sons, all near your age. But I'm already betrothed to the Duke of Sidna. That does not bar you from dancing. Um, I'm going to refuse because I don't want to cheat on my fiance. Really, that is something you don't do, boys or girls, for this instant. <laughs> okay, no, I don't want the Duke of Sidna to think badly of me. I will skip the dancing. Very well. Between the dances, there is the time for guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bites of exquisite food. <laughs> During the lull of music, Banyan, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant fingernail against a wine glass, letting clear notes ring through the room. If I might have your... T he has fingernails? I don't have fingernails. Can he help me stop chewing my fingernails? <laughs> um, if I may have your attention. I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Her words of wisdom... Wisdom guide us through our difficulties. Everyone applauds politely. As Gala continues, you take the opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Gwenelle, for instance. The young lady of Sudbury, or Sudbury, only months older than you and due to final inherit control of her duchy soon. 
or Adele, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lilla, and the a fierce sportswoman. She has a few years ahead of you uh, at school, and the absolute terror of the ball fields. Ooh, she knows how to play ball. Can she play my ball? I mean, what? Um, I didn't say anything. <laughs> no, Brianni. She said her parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Her parents are here dancing together. The Duke consort clutching his Duchess positively, possess, the uh, uh, possessively tight. There we go. Strange that there's no sight of uh, your cousins, though. Should they be? Shouldn't they be here? Your aunt and uncle are here, of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come. Merva being so close by. Since it's nice to enjoy, I mean, it's nice to enjoy time with friends and family, isn't it? I can't believe my sense magic actually failed that time. I mean, I have such a high, high sense magic. Okay, um, let's attend uh, service again. We're probably just going to be attending service quite often and then visiting treasury. We don't really need to do much after that. So let's do classes and sense magic. Uh, actually, we can do two at once this time. Okay, so bring me up to 99, bring me up to 100. Nice, nice, nice. Doing very well. All right. You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the domain. You're moving in such enthusiasm you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. Serene, Countess of Miranda in Callisto. Well, isn't she a pretty thing? You're too kind, Jocelyn. Countess Surin, not a member of your circles. She's a bit more of, a uh, mo bit more than a decade your senior. You're f far too old to ever been your friend, and yet not at all, uh, not at all old as noble women go. She has two minor titles, no husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. What? How dare she make a move on your father? Um, I'm thinking Shamer was a silent score. Let's be a snobby, right up nosed little girl. You meet her eyes and imagine your mother's disapproving presence behind you. She notices your stare but only smiles at you ever so sweetly. Darling Elodie, I hope you've been well. Fine. Perhaps we'll be seeing more of each other in the future. <laughs> that was a terrible accent. She gives uh, a little wave in exit. Once she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. This is the path that you set us on. What do you mean? Your acts have made everyone think about preparations for the future. Colorist needs an heir. My brother, your uncle Armand, is looking for a wife as well. One of us, at least, must produce more children. But, Mama, nothing can ever replace your mother. But we all have things to do that we don't want to do. You should be careful how you deal with people like Serene. You need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you. I am paying attention of what's around me. Not really. My intrigue is very, not very high at all. Let's go check out the treasury. All right. Oh, wow. I'm losing some uh, silver. That's fine. All righty then. Let's do some wild magic. Uh, I'm Okay, so we maxed all our magic out. Okay, what I'm going to say is if you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a big fat like. And if you haven't subscribed, come on and come subscribe. I will catch you, lords and ladies, some other time. Bye-bye now and enjoy.